Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In previous video, we have created a CRM data entry process. Hope you are familiar with the use of UI elements and other window actions. In today's video, we will create a simple mathematical process and understanding dynamic selectors. So let me open my notepad. Start by asking a user mathematical question, example 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 in a message box with a yes or no choices and capturing the user answer. If a user answer yes, opens the notepad, attach to the window of a notepad and types correct into it. If choose no, do the same of series of action and type in correct into the notepad and then finally close the notepad application. So in this case, I would like to use a random number because I do not want to hard code the value and the maximum value I change it to 10 first random number and I do the same thing for second random number okay now the next step is I would like to use a message box right which is display message over here Okay, so I write the message as first random number plus second random number is equals to, so in this case, I do the computation. If I want to do the computation, I need to remove the percentage here and here. Leave the first and last open. Okay. And then I click maybe wait. I let me choose this option to yes and message box button. I would like to choose yes and no, and then I click yes. So over here, there will be a variable produce called the button press. So this will capture whether you select yes or no. Okay, let's try 10 plus 10 equals to 20. Yes, click yes. The variable produce here, yes. Okay, so over here we have to use the if condition. If button press is equals to yes, we need to open the notepad. Else, same thing. So over here, if I were to run application which is running the notepad right let me find this so let me teach you how you can get the notepad so you search for notepad here open file with location and then okay. copy this path navigate to this path and select the notepad it will automatically generate the path for you okay you know, I click save so if i were to do this the bot will actually open to notepad if i were to rerun the, the 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 process so what i can improve on this is i use a if window action if window i drag this isn't open okay so now i need to indicate the window right add ui element i need to open a new blank notepad and i just select maybe i since i just gonna input this text field text text inside this notepad right i just select here then in the ui spike you will actually save the selector then i click on the done option pardon is a bit laggy Click save. So this, do the same thing for else statement as well. So you want to do this option. Okay, the next thing is you like to populate the text, right? You populate the text right afterwards. You like to type inside this document and then correct. Same thing, we will write inside the else statement as incorrect 
I save the flow. Okay, so attaching the window right at this notepad, you mentioned that attach the window of the notepad. Yes, you can do that by using the get window. And then we select this and we want to bring window to front. This can be done as well. But in this case, we already program it in such that if the window is not open, we will open it. Else, we will just type into this notepad. So, no matter what, this notepad will always be open, right? Then we can, we don't really need this option. But you can use that if you have multiple screens and then you need to navigate back and forth. So, yes, that get window is useful. Okay, so in this case, let me continue. If I I miss out one step, which is close the Excel, eh, sorry, which close the notepad, right? So I would like to use this close window at the end of it. I select this untitled notepad. Save. So as you can see here, right, when we close this notepad, Let's try to type something. Okay, maybe I just run this flow, then you're able to understand what I'm trying to. So, yes, I will open this notepad. So, as you can see, there's this pop up when you try to close. So, you need to cater this as well. So, what you can do after this close window click ui element in the window and then you add ui elements select this don't save button and click done save okay but in this case right what if we have not we don't want to close this window first. We want to continue typing it. So how can we improve this to make it dynamic selectors? Okay, so let's say I run this flow. Yes. So now you see the name change here, right? There's an asterisk here. If I were to run again, it will open an additional notepad. So now I have two notepad open. So how can we improve this? What we can do is you go to UI element, select the window, edit selector. Over here, click on edit selector. This is a tricky part. You can choose by the name so which means we have the untitled here right we can choose by the name or we can just use by the process which means the application so over here i already have mathematical question if i were to choose if i were to uncheck this option it will take it as any of the file that has this naming convention so in this case the bot will confuse so what we can do is we check this and select contains and then we just remove this untitled update and I click close. Likewise, do the same thing for the button don't save. You select this as contains, remove this and click update. Okay, so now let's try to run. Since this file is already open, we're going to write into this currently attached file. Okay, so we click on run again. No. Right. There's no new notepad open. Okay, so now let's try to close this. Enable action.
Right. And that's all for this exercise. Hope you are able to understand how the dynamic selector works. So if you are keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.